What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, the Auto Shop Life. Just uh, finishing up, cleaning up the tools. You guys know how I, uh, how I am. Gotta keep the tools clean. Make them last, make them look nice. But uh, catch you guys with uh, this week's uh, tool haul. Better late than never, but I got a couple of them that I wanna show you guys. One's pretty cool. You know, I gotta have my uh, Snap-on pickup for the week and uh, cornrow pickup. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so diving right down into it, I got uh, three Cornwell pickups this week and then I finally got the tool I had on order through Snap-on finally showed up. But uh, first ones, obviously I know you guys have probably seen these, the Mueller Coops. This is just to hang the uh, you know calipers or whatever. I usually use uh, different things than this. I used to have these before, I think they were a black version, but I want to get like the high vis color, you know, bendable and all that stuff pick up a couple of these. He only had one on the truck. I wanted four, but I put another set on order. Pretty nice. Uh, part number 905022. I'm sure you guys see them out there. You know, they're nice to hang calipers or spindles. They're definitely uh, stout enough to hang some weight. So I picked up that. Then I got the, uh, the Kiwi plier set made by Easy Red. The part number KWP2. Come a little two-piece set. I think I got this for like 20 bucks or 23 bucks or something like that. It's pretty, uh, got it off the Cornwall guy and actually it's about what I see it on Amazon for. So I figured I'd grab that off here. That was more like an impulse buy, but something nice for the plier drawer to, uh, you know, beef them up. I don't have the Kiwi style ones. So got these, definitely seem nice. Looks like it's got the red handle on there. You know, definitely, uh, pop this thing open actually. So two sets. Yeah, definitely nice, nice handle on it, but you got a nice angle on it, and it's got these little uh, notches here, so you can pull on things, it doesn't slip out of your hand. Nice big bite on it, nice teeth on it, you can see, but it's got two sizes, a bigger pair, and then a smaller pair here. Same thing, and they're spring action, but same stuff, like, definitely nice handle, but got to figure out how I'm going to put these in the drawer without them falling over. Maybe put a rubber band, keep them closed. But nice pickup through Cornwell. And then the next one through Cornwell, it's actually made by Lyle. And I know SunX makes it because Steve has a set, but I picked up a set through Lyle, part number 41440. And it's the uh, you know impact and pickle set, pickle fork set. This thing's got like, a, I think it's a five piece set or a four piece set or something like that. Um, and they're stepped. It's actually a really nice kit. Nice upgrade to the ones I've been using, but you can see they're actually stepped. So, you know, it's less of a chance for it to uh, get stuck in there and things like that. You're trying to hammer it out the other way if the ball joint doesn't let loose or whatever you're using these things for, pitman arms or whatever. And then it comes with, you know, you could screw it onto the impact, the ear hammer. It's got the little threads. And it's also got a manual one that you could just whale on with a regular hammer to uh, get the job done, but definitely like the sizes. Definitely a pretty neat design on that. Um, thought that was nice. We'll see if this is better or worse than the, just the normal flat ones, but it's got all the sizes in there. Definitely a nice pickup through Cornwall. I think this was like two something. I think I paid for it. No, actually, I think I got it on promo. It was 159 actually. Normal price, probably 200, but you guys know how I feel about Lyle. They make, they make great tools. So you guys looking into something like this, Maybe I'll put an Amazon link if they got it on Amazon down in the description for you. Definitely a cool tool to check out. And then the next one I got was my Snap-on pickup. It was a little light this week. Just one I had on order. And then I went ahead and just ordered a few more off of them. But uh, the uh, BK8500 camera, the UV camera. There's the part number for it. And pretty much looks like pretty much what I thought it was going to look like. Um, I actually took off the normal camera just to show you guys a comparison, but it's pretty much everything's identical on these. You know, it's got the small camera lens on the front. This is the normal one that came with it. And then here's the UV one, but everything's pretty much the same. The only difference in it is instead of having the LED, it has a, a black light, a UV light, and it's still got the dual cameras, one on the side, 
if you guys could see that. And then one in the front, obviously you could change angles on that. But I actually uh, can't tell them apart, so what I did is just went ahead and labeled them. If you guys could see that, this is just the regular one. It just says cam on there. And then I got the UV camera here so I could tell the difference here. So if I'm using a UV, and I actually already tried this thing out, hooked it up to the camera, it works pretty good. I had a, uh, I had a leak on a van and it definitely picks up the dye pretty well on the camera. You put it on UV mode and uh, so real quick guys, I want to show you the, uh, the difference in this on the screen and what the light, the light that throws off. So this is obviously the normal camera and I know if you guys seen these you know, between my tools in action, you know, I, I grab for this endoscope as much as possible. But uh, here's the normal one. You can see it's just a normal light there. And then you could switch the cameras on the screen here. You could switch to the side camera. And then light, that light's going to go on. You can see on the side there, you could turn it up and down with the handle here. And then switching it off. I'm not even going to turn it off here. I'm just going to pull it. It's, the screen's going to freeze. Pop this one on. This is the UV camera, and you can see as soon as I plug it in, I don't know if you guys are picking that up, but you got the UV light in there. So pretty much the same thing, just emits the UV light. So, you know, putting up in those HVACs and all that stuff, um, you know, picking up dye. So a quick demo of this, guys. You pretty much got the modes. You go to the auto button down there. Make sure the UV is checked for UV mode. There you go. And then I got some, uh, I got some page oil here, UV dye, and you can see it on the screen. You can see it glow green. Put a little out here. We'll just dab a little on the table here. Like that. And you can see the camera pretty much picks that up. I don't know if you guys are catching that without the glare. But you can see on the camera there, it's picking up the green dye. You can see it on the light there. So it's nice for those in dash, you know, evaporator core leaks and things like that. The camera picks it up, and then I can turn up the black light to bright. But definitely nice, definitely nice. Make quick work out of it. So I just wanted to show you guys that quick demo of it. This thing's, these aren't cheap. Snap on pretty much wants more than they want for the replacement cameras for this i think it was like three something so i mean if you ask me they definitely could be a little bit cheaper but hey if it gets the job done and it starts making the money back you guys know me i, I don't mind paying extra for a quality tool and definitely to make my job easier but snap on pickup for this week i'll uh I'll, I'll leave the part number down in the description but part number right there bk 8000 uv all right, guys, and then one more quick one that I'm going to be reviewing. I got dropped off this week was the uh, Preter Professional. It says uh, 123E on the box, but I believe this is the new version. I think they're calling it the 129E. I'll be, uh, be definitely doing a uh, review on this one. Maybe give you guys an unboxing on the next video. As soon as I find time, I'm going to be reviewing this next week, throwing on a couple of these cars, going through some of the features. Seems like a nice scanner. From what I've seen out there so far and what I was told about it, definitely seems like a nice scanner. But uh, got this this week too. So I'll be running through it. You guys stay tuned to uh, check it out, see what this thing's all about. For me, it seems nice for what it is, but looks can be deceiving sometimes. But definitely seems like a solid scanner. You know, I dig launch based stuff, so that's how it is. But this week's tool haul, guys. Quick one for Snap On. Cornwell, I've been showing some love more and more. Pretty much now they got Steve here, he's a big Cornwell guy, and I don't blame him. You know, they make they make some decent tools, definitely got some decent stuff, and the Cornwall guy is you know top notch. So, you know, I always support uh, great people and obviously small businesses. So like, comment, subscribe, catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.